Video shows him holding those shoes as he goes back outside to the car. After finishing up, he then stole another car that was parked inside the garage. He even shut the garage door as he drove away. Polite, but still there's a few manners missing, I yeah, think. like thievery. <laughs> I mean, or not doing that. Exactly. It's now 44 degrees. Let's get a check on weather now from Storm Center 7 meteorologist, Kirsty Zantini. Good morning. Good morning. It's maybe something you see this morning or maybe you noticed over the weekend. We had a very bright and full moon, and that was the Hunter's Moon. And technically, it was in its full face Sunday at 5.07. It's called the Hunter's Moon because it is the first full moon after the Harvest Moon. And if you can remember, last month, the Harvest Moon actually fell on Friday the 13th, which is a pretty rare occurrence. Now, what's neat this morning is that if you head outside, we really don't see the moon set until 8.16 in the morning. Uh, so it is going to still be bright in the sky for you even very early this morning, especially before the sun comes up, you will notice the moon out there. So don't forget to still share your photos. I am putting together some of our Eyewitness 7 reporter pictures from over the weekend. Pretty impressive. You guys had some really beautiful shots of the moon that you shared with us already. Here's a look at what you can expect today. Bright skies this morning as we head towards 8 a.m. 5 o'clock still looking good. Our live look outside in Beaver Creek. We are now at 46 six degrees at the Dayton International Airport. Winds are out of the west at about seven miles per hour. Live Doppler 7 radar is dry and looking at the big picture, our next weather maker really isn't arriving until tomorrow. So it will still be quiet all the way through the afternoon hours today. Temperatures are kind of a big spread right here this morning. We have some of our northern communities dipping into the 30s. That includes Greenville. We're at 37 in Wapakoneta, 38 in Urbana. Still sitting in the 40s, though, across most of the southern half of the Miami Valley today. Our temperatures through the afternoon will stay on the cool side today. So we only hit the upper 50s if you're to the north, like Sydney, Urbana, and Salina. We'll be around 60 in Eaton, and we'll hit 61 in Kettering. Futurecast does show, though, at least through the day today, full sunshine. So we barely have a cloud in the sky to track as we head through the afternoon and into the evening hours as well. Still looking good. Tonight, because of those clear skies and calm winds, we'll get down to 40 at the airport. And again, we will likely have a lot of our city surrounding Dayton dipping into the mid to upper 30s. Tomorrow afternoon, though, we get a big push of warm air ahead of our next cold front. So temperatures will jump pretty quickly during the day to around 70 degrees for everyone. So once again, cooler than normal, up again above normal for the afternoon tomorrow. Now tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon both look dry. So Futurecast kind of showing you a lot of sunshine early in the day. Once we head into the evening, we start to see our clouds increase and we'll be tracking rain showers then for Tuesday evening. So this is what we need here, some good downpours to work through with our next cold front could still see some showers very early Wednesday morning, maybe even a few stray showers during the day as well. In terms of the potential for rain, again, we need a little bit more than what we're going to receive with this cold front. Most of the area will stay below a half inch of rainfall. It will help us out a little bit, but we're still running at least a half inch below normal for rain for October. Our five-day forecast does show it's whiplash. We're back up to 70, back down to the 50s. So we've got quite a cool stretch here Wednesday and and Thursday afternoon likely won't make it into the 60s and then by Friday back to normal 65 with sunshine. We bring you weather and traffic every 10 minutes. We want to get a check on the roads now with Sergeant Mark. Good morning Sarge. And good morning again to you Kirsty. We've had a good start to our morning drive. If you are headed out to any part of the freeway system things are looking good on 75. We have uh, tr uh, checked out some travel times on southbound 75 from 70 to route 35. That's 12, about a nine-mile drive. Looks like that drive time is going to be about 10 minutes. I'm Sergeant Mark Bowen, WHIO, Triple Team Traffic. 520, 44 degrees. Thousands of motorcycles are coming to Clark County. Why their visit will help kids have a happy holiday season. A dog went missing for more than a decade. How his owner finally found the animal thousands of miles away. Storm Tracker 7, the mobile weather center that allows our team of expert meteorologists to be anywhere in the community. Storm Center 7 is weather coverage you can count on. Hi, we're Michelle and Carol Collins of Collins Real Estate. 